It's time for our daily NFL fix right now. Tom Brady is good at many things. We know that. Just don't put kayaking on that list. A benign outing on the Charles River recently led to some anxious moments for Patriots fans. With that and other NFL news and notes, we turn to Jeff Darlington of the Miami Herald. And, uh, we'll get to the Tom Brady stuff in a second. That's interesting. But we have to start, Jeff, in the AFC East. It's fast become the trash talk division in the NFL, uh, resembling perhaps more uh, WWE than NFL. What's going on? Yeah, Jay, this is like Christmas in July down here. You know, I spoke to Dolphins linebacker Channing Crowder last night. Got a lot of good stuff for you. But first, I'll take you back to where this started at a golf tournament this weekend when Crowder told a few different reporters that he was tired of hearing Rex Ryan say he has the toughest defense in football when it's only June. He said, quote, if they want to be the OTA champions, they can have it. Well, it's not ending there. We've got an AFC East rivalry that's getting very spicy very early. Ryan even being prompted Tuesday, said among other things, I don't know this Channing Crowder. All I know is that he's all tatted up. So I guess I ought to be nervous about him. The other thing is I think he's wrong because I think you do win in June. I think you win with your preparation and all that kind of stuff. If I was younger, I'd probably handle him myself. So hearing that response, I decided to give Channing a quick ring on his cell, and I delivered UJ his rebuttal. <laughs> Quote, I'd have beat the hell out of that big old joker. Or if he really wants to get retro, my daddy or my uncle could have handled him. Don't get big. Man, I'm enjoying this. Win with preparation. Start watching some game tape and learn who your rival is. Come on now. So uh, ultimately, Crowder said he just doesn't want to hear the Jets fans talking about how the division goes through New England when the Dolphins are the division champs. Whatever the case, the AFC East is seriously heating up, and Jay Terrell Owens hasn't even had to say a word. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit odd. All right, let's move on now to another game in the AFC East. Not saying much, but it was supposed to be a romantic getaway for Tom and supermodel wife Giselle Bunchin over the weekend, but things didn't exactly go as planned. What, what happened? Yeah, you know, it doesn't take much to get Tom Brady and Giselle in the news these days, Jay. Uh, on Tuesday, a Boston Herald report ran a, uh, a report citing a source who spotted Brady falling out of a kayak that the couple had rented from a nonprofit group called Community Boating on the Charles River. You know, according to the report, Brady had to be, quote, rescued by an employee. The report makes it pretty clear there was no real danger, but it didn't stop Community Boating from getting plenty of calls from local radio stations and newspapers. I called the executive director, uh, Charlie Zeckel, just to see how much the story was growing. And while Zeckel wanted to emphasize he thought the report was pretty sensationalized, he did tell a funny anecdote. Got, got a call from an old Patriots fan that loves Tom Brady. said, you saved Tom Brady. I love you. Zeckel then joked, I personally saved Tom Brady. It's all on community boating. Remember that when the Patriots win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Well, I kind of doubt he actually needed to be rescued. Yeah. Let's talk about Chad Ochocinco, uh, formerly Chad Johnson. W what's going on with his name change perhaps backfiring? Yeah, bad news for Chad Ochocinco. He might have to do more than just show up to OTA days if he wants those Ochocinco jerseys to start selling faster. The player formerly known as Chad Johnson's jersey is not even in the top 100 bestsellers on NFLshop.com. Ocho Cinco's old name, by the way, was once a top 10 seller back when he caught 1,300 yards just three years ago. Might be proof enough that a fan base that once supported the guy used to be known as Johnson wants to see more production before they're willing to also buy into Ocho Cinco. Jeff Darlington, thanks.